If a woman were to drop to the ground with a medical emergency, she is less likely to be given CPR by a bystander because she's a woman. And once she gets to the hospital, her odds of survival are even worse. Melanie Lawson breaks down new research and the reason behind this deadly disadvantage. It's a deadly disadvantage. A study found overall a woman's chances of surviving cardiac arrest outside of the hospital is about half that of men. The numbers are lower from the moment she shows symptoms to when she gets to the hospital. The response all around is just different. Janet Davis, 51 years old, realtor, mom, wife. Janet was not the typical face of heart disease until she was. Looking at the time period lapse in between almost three months, I'm thinking I could have been dead. She was much closer to death than even her doctors could tell. In 2016, she had discomfort in her chest and pain in her left arm. Even with classic symptoms of heart problems, Janet was dismissed with a pill. The doctor put me on Nexium, uh, thinking I for heartburn, you know, thinking I had heartburn because of the discomfort through here. Her symptoms kept getting worse until one day when she was out showing a house, exhausted, huffing and puffing. So I went to the hospital. Um, in the hospital, they did the D-dime test. I mean, I waited actually an hour to get a room. Again, another missed opportunity. This time, Janet left with this inhaler. So I've heard other people talking about their husbands going in or whatever, and they immediately started seeing about them. So then you think, well, you know, maybe looking back now, it was it not taken as serious being a female coming in. A new study found even if Janet dropped unconscious to the ground, people around her still might not have tried resuscitation. People don't recognize that women can have cardiac arrest. Uh, they always think that maybe she just fainted or, or maybe, you know, she's faking it, which has happened. And I think some people think that way. And so they don't uh, administer CPR right away. Dr. Pamela Rama yeah. is one of six women cardiologists at Baptist Health. She's been pushing for more education surrounding women and heart disease for years. And these are the reasons why. The study showed women who have cardiac arrest are 10% less likely to receive a resuscitation attempt by a bystander. Women were also less likely to survive even once they started treatment in the hospital. After three months of pills and puffs, Dr. Rama was the woman who diagnosed Janet Davis with a 90% blockage in the left main artery to the heart. And she said, I'm not trying to scare you, but that's the reason it's called the Widowmaker is because it hits and that's it. Janet was a ticking time bomb. Within two days, she was in surgery. And unfortunately, she didn't fit, fit the narrative. You know, you, they were expecting a male smoker to have that symptoms, but she being a young female, they just didn't think about coronary artery disease as the reason for her symptoms. Dr. Rama says the stigma must change to save lives in and out of the hospital. At this day and age, I still have women tell me that they never knew that heart disease was going to be their number one problem. Davis is now part of a campaign at Baptist to educate the public about women and heart disease. She is the perfect face for that. She knows firsthand lives depend on it. Because I don't want anybody to go through what I went through and be able to be treated because they may be dead. Dr. Rama says another deterrent for men to help resuscitate a woman is breast. Men don't want to be accused of violating a woman. So take a look at this prototype. It is called a womannequin. It's an attachment that fits most CPR mannequins so that professionals and others can practice chest compressions on a woman's body. It's not only an opportunity to change the mindset, but also the number one thing that could save anyone who has a heart attack, CPR training. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.